Hello world and welcome to another video on launch mass. In today's video I want to talk about the some CLI improvements that were announced in the latest days. If you'd like to know more about serverless, cloud computing or software engineer practices in general, subscribe to my channel in the red button below. I post a video every Tuesday. So let's get started! <laughs> So another video on launch mats. this is the third day, so I'm doing good, free, out of free. <laughs> and today I want to talk about some of the announcements that happened pre reinvent but I think they're really important announcements if you're using SAM CLI. So they have changed a lot, the SAM CLI now, and it's so much easier to use. So I want to show you in a video how much it changed. So now we can go to the code and see the changes live. So to get started with this, uh, I want to show you the new SAM CLI. So the first thing you need to do is to update the SAM CLI to the latest version. So in the time I'm recording this video, the version that is available is 0 0.34. But if you're watching this video in the future, make sure that your version is uh, the latest. So this is a very simple app. Uh, it has an API gateway with a function and nothing much to it. So we are not focusing on that. We are going to focus on some of the new things that the SAM CLI has. So let's open the terminal. And there is this uh, SAM deployed that before we needed to have the um, first the package and then the deployment. Now everything is done with one command. So when we get started, we will have some deploy guided and this will create a configuration file with all the information we want so this you run the first time you are going to deploy this project with the some um, information so it will ask you the stack name so i will put some simplest app that is the name of the project then the region you can leave the default one if you want if you want to confirm the changes before deploy, for example, to see what is going on and to create a new role for the SAM CLI. I will save that in a configuration file and then enter. And now it's doing the deployment for me. So we can see that the deployment is a little bit more verbose than before. It's uh, first showing us the things that we are going to change in the CloudFormation stack. In this case, we are deploying this for the first time. So we are adding all these different things, the function, the function role, permissions, the API gateway, the stage, and all these things is what we are going to add. So I will push yes. And then it will start doing the deployment. This is, I think, really good views. So you can see what is going on. It's quite verbose. And I think it's uh, way more clear to know if something fails. So this will start creating and it will show you the, um, the event information from the stack of the cloud formation. So you can see here if something is being created, it is in progress. And if something it failed, it will show you a red message and it will show you the error here. So you don't need to go to the console to check what was going on and why it failed. This should not fail because it's a very simple project. So uh, it will complete when, when the whole creation is over. And then you can see here the output that I have in my template. If I go back to the bottom of my uh, template YAML, I have added some, some outputs. We have the region, the API um, ID, and then the endpoint. And that is being shown here. So if you have more things, it will appear at the end of the deployment. And then it will show you that everything is updated correctly. So when you run the first time the SAM deployed guided, it will create this SAM config here for you. Uh, this is something I recommend you not to check into your GitHub uh, repo, but depending on how much critical information you have. So here I have the stack name, the bucket where it's going to be deployed. Before, when you were using uh, SAM CLI, you will need to create a bucket and you will need to manage that bucket. Now the bucket is created for you and managed for you. And then this is the uh, three prefix for the, where the things are going to be stored. 
So these are the capabilities that you have to define also in the uh, deployment before. So everything is here. And now if you do changes, then you just run, let's change something. I don't know, let's change the version of the runtime to node 12. So I can do some deploy, just like that, enter. And this is going to deploy with this values that are coming from the SAM config. And then it's uploading the, the template into the bucket and then creating the CloudFormation stack. In this case, we are just modifying the, the function and the API gateway to use uh, node 12. And this is the preview. So we have seen it. And now, because I told in the configuration that I want to confirm all the uh, deployments, then I need to confirm that I want to deploy this and it will start deploying. You can make that, that confirmation is not necessary, but I sometimes like to see what I'm deploying. And again, it just shows you the different events in the CloudFormation stack and the output. And it's pretty nice and straightforward. You can see more information about this launch in the blog post that I will leave you uh, in the link. And also I will leave you the link for this um, simple application so you can try it out yourself. That was the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, give a big thumbs up and remember to leave me in the comments what are your favorite launches, what you would like me to talk about. Is there something that you're interested in or something I should dip a little bit more into? As always, the code I have shown you is available in GitHub and you can find the link. It's always linked in the description box. And I see you tomorrow with another episode on Launchmas Day 4. Yay!